What's going on my fellow samurais? It's your boy different place here and this time we are going to be reviewing another weapon For this review, we're going to be reviewing what you saw in my profile like for a split second We're gonna be reviewing the assault machine gun This is a very old weapon existed back in 2015 so for the stats as the grade of legendary a fire rate of 98 of capacity of 50 and a mobility of 65 the attributes are automatic and four times zoom. So for the next couple of weapons I'm going to be reviewing are either the Hellraiser or the Devastator or the Predator. Or yeah, I can review the Automatic Peacemaker with commentary. As I did review this weapon, I did not have any commentary. So do y'all want me to review this weapon as, a, as I'm going to speak? Or I can review the Thunderbird as I did make a Thunderbird review, but the truth is there was no commentary. And besides, I did ex use 500 tickets to get these. If I'd saved those, I would have gotten a Mythical or something like that. But yeah, let's go with the video, everyone. All right. Yep, total definition of primary spam. Anyways, story time. Whoa. And we got someone spamming the offensive fireworks. Don't even think that's a pro weapon. It's not even a pro weapon. You don't have to hit someone directly. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hold up. Really? Get that out of here. Yeah, you get this at level 6 with a price of 185 coins. Bunch of cowards, don't you think? Yeah, by the way, when this video ends, or at least before I end off the video, the last clip will be a damage test in the gallery. So I forgot... So I was supposed to test it as soon as I started recording. Get that out of here. Who said pets were allowed? Ah, shoot. Finish him. I'll teach him. Never spam the offensive fireworks. You're not a pro to spam it all that long. It's the rude definition of heavy spam. One of the pro based weapons in the game, because oh, you yeah, know. Yeah, as I was coming across. As I did come across a player, I did come across a player with the legendary circus camp. Guess it guess me and him had something in common. We both have something with the grade of epic that we improved to the grade of legendary. Except mine's a minigun in the primary section. His was a heavy weapon that looked like the big buddy. The big buddy's legendary. The circus cannon is epic. The automatic peacemaker is epic. Buddy swap machine gun's legendary. They, they have like only one thing in common. They're both automatic and start with the letter A. That's the only thing they even have. Well, match is finished. People barely play rough in the bull parties now. That's that's one weird thing. Also, I'm going to get the wyvern as soon as I get enough coins. Why the wyvern? Because because let me show you something. This I need to get this set completed. But we're we're not going to do that. We're going to. 
we're gonna wait till the end of the video to even save up for the damage test. I have tested it on another player. It was six hits to the head, I believe eight to the body. So like I said, this is a very great primary, even if it's old. This is a very underrated weapon now that I think about it. It's almost like the electric arc, whereas both of them are underrated and are very OP when completely maxed out. You know, I might have to review the Royal Fighter again. Why? Because... This doesn't hold that much ammo when you completely like. Bushes can hold up more ammo, like up to 200 shots. This holds up 150. Because the ratio is 50 to 100. Would you start with 50 50? So you, so you have 100 shots. Also speaking, this melee I'm holding, called the Katana, this thing was known as the Emperor's Blade back in the very old versions of the game. If you're not that old of a player, you might have not known the older names of some of these weapons, like the Fire Demon's older name was Diablo. But it had older counterparts like the Skeleton Sword and a different look to the Fire Demon. It just looked, it just looked stupid. Like I said, there are there are theories I do want to post that I have not worked on at all. But for example, Lila's good side, many, many people may may not understand where I'm coming from, but many people said that Lila is said to have a good side, despite the, that she's always lying to, to manipulate others and get people in trouble. She did get Marinette expelled, however, which was a scene I hated with a passion. I'm pretty sure everyone hates that scene. If you like that scene, God dang, you're, God dang, you're such a doofus. Not to be rude, but to be honest. She kind of deserved to get yelled at at the, at the scene of the photo shoot in that exact episode. So Adrian just spit straight facts at that scene. Y'all gotta love Adrian, people. Whee! Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak behind someone. Ooh, I thought I found the map. I'm about to get somebody. Oh, he already killed him. But it's just you. Or Lila may take advantage of Mr. Red's power. She might know that he's talking about. If she did know, she probably. Probably what's the name? Take the miraculous from it. And then she could use Nuru's powers for evil. I'm pretty sure anyone would do that with Nuru's powers. Use them for evil. If if I was in the show, I'd use Nuru's powers for good. Like I thought just throw a bunch of sea poppy sea poppies in there. Then we'd be good. As I'm not encountering rough players anymore, this is just getting really weird. Whoa, Jesus Christ, a bunch of my health is gone. I'm behind you! Yeah, healing won't save you. Okay, these are the players I wanted. Probably must have miscalculated. That was a great shot. Whoever just hit me. Huh? What was that?
out of my way. Guys, don't do that. Yeah, what'd you get for spamming area damage? Alright. The nuke just just set off. We get well, at least we don't take damage from the nuke anymore. We used to take damage from the nuke. It was It was like a very, you know, extinct thing, but thank god. Thank God we don't take damage for the nuke anymore. That's that's what people that's what made people rage the fact you can take damage from the nuclear explosion. But since we're almost cutting to an end, we are going to go to the assault machine gun in the gallery and test the damage. Five shots to the head. And six to the body. I didn't really use it that much in that nuclear part. Nuclear city, because you know. The people are playing rough and that's what I wanted. And we're at, we're at the very end of the video. Just really hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see y'all guys later. Thank you very much for watching, people.